Over the last 10 years, California has lost 90% of its kelp cover through a combination of climate change and human impacts. And it's actually a dramatic loss. Could you imagine if 90% of the trees on land disappeared in 10 years? Like, people would know about it and be quite upset. The oceans actually have absorbed over 90% of the global warming heat so far that we've actually produced. Much like the marine heat waves that have actually knocked out 50% of um, the Great Barrier Reef over in Australia, on the west coast here in California, we have the same thing happening, but to our kelp forest. Kelp forests are basically like the redwoods of the sea. They're an extraordinary forest with an amazing amount of biodiversity and productivity, both in terms of things that live in the forest, fish and sea lions and whales, as well as uh, the benefits to the ocean itself. It reduces ocean acidity as the kelp grows, improves water quality, and it also sequesters vast amounts of carbon dioxide in the deep ocean. So kelp actually fights climate change in a way few forests can do. Giant kelp is one of the fastest growing organisms on the planet. Um, in normal conditions, it can grow 12 to 14 inches a day. Um, under ideal conditions, it can grow up to two feet per day, which means that you can actually go from a urchin barren, like bare rock, no kelp, no life, back to a healthy, thriving kelp forest that's 30 or 40 feet tall. It's extraordinary. There's no other you know, regeneration or conservation work um, that we can do that's faster than that. The goal of sea trees is to help restore what we call blue carbon ecosystems around the world. Blue carbon is mangrove forests, kelp forests, seagrass meadows, coral reefs, and coastal watersheds. This is the Palos Verdes Kelp Restoration Project being operated by the sea trees partner, the Bay Foundation. They're marine biologists based in Los Angeles who have pioneered the techniques to restore kelp forests in California. And the way they do it is they basically map out the, the urchin barrens where there should be kelp and then go in with a urchin divers, it's essentially called culling the urchins, and what they do is they take a rock hammer and they smash the urchins underwater. You can see that the kelp forest ends right there, and where it ends is where the urchin barrens begin. And so this is the whole section where the urchin fishermen are going down with the hammers. Restoring the kelp forest is a way for California to hit its target goals on climate change. It's one of the most important ecosystems in the state to sequester carbon. So if we're concerned about all the wildfires and the drought and all the other impacts that climate change is causing on our state, this is one of the best ways for California to address that problem. CBs approached us in 2019 at the beginning of the launch of Sea Trees. All the brands and people that are coming together, like CVs, that's actually enabling the environmental benefit to happen. So when someone goes and buys a pair of CV shoes in the Sea Change collection, that actually restores one square foot of California kelp forest. The sole is actually made from um, recycled plastic. Every single one is actually um, a little bit different. You got um, organic cotton uppers. They actually have a recycled uh, bottle um, interior. Uh, there's nothing metal on the laces, it's all sewn. This is all from upcycled uh, plastic water bottles. It's easy to get on board, get a pair of CVs, um, go to our website, you can donate uh, to Restore Kelp on your own right there as um, an individual and collectively get involved, get engaged.